Well, Turkey and Russia at that meeting in Ankara agreeing that both sides are going to be pushing for a ceasefire and that there's going to be a further uh, diplomatic uh, process focusing on dialogue that's likely to take place uh, in Moscow. There's some uh, people questioning whether this is maybe a, a version of Libya's own Astana, that process that Russia uh, and Turkey have worked on together over Syria, uh, whether they're trying to establish a similar uh, kind of mode of operation uh, when it comes to Libya. It's, it's important, that statement, because Turkey and Russia are two of the main foreign backers in this conflict, and they're on opposite sides of the conflict. Uh, Turkey is supporting the UN-recognized government. Uh, Russia has been providing support to Haftar and his militias. The big question now, of course, is whether that messaging from that meeting and from those uh, two backers is going to actually translate into de-escalation on the ground. What we've seen over the last uh, couple of weeks is a very significant military build-up around the city of Sirte. It is interesting, after that meeting between Turkey and Russia, you did hear Turkey reiterating a point that they've made before, which is that uh, the UN-recognized government here in Libya isn't going to accept anything less than Haftar and his militias uh, being removed or withdrawing from the city of Sirte. Now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon, so it's uh, quite difficult to see what the next steps forward are. Uh, but certainly, uh, if you look at the... Um, statements that came out of that meeting that took place in Ankara, it does seem that those two major foreign backers in this conflict are trying to pull the situation back from the brink of military confrontation when it comes to search.